There was a war between Iran and Iraq, and then they dropped a bomb behind our uh, apartment, and then one of my child got sick, and he got brain damage. So we decided to leave Iran. When I came to Canada, I came, it, I came actually, I was so scared. Yeah, because I came by myself. So it was caring because I was like, maybe I will not find my mom or something like that. And then we came here because of the war in our country. When my, mo when my mom told us that we we're gonna come here, I was so happy because I wanted to leave that place. I don't have to leave my desk to travel the world. We have almost a representative from every culture, every nation that comes through. And we're very blessed at, at this particular office that we have over, I would say, 55 different languages that are spoken. I think about, I would say 98% are immigrants ourselves, so we know what it's like to come to a new country. The people that I work with, they're here because of their hearts, I think, because they're just willing to give back a little bit of what they received. So I think that's what makes us so unique in providing the service that we do. Most of my clients have lost everything. They've lost status, they have lost their jobs, they have lost country, they have no hope of going back. Things can be very, very difficult when you don't know where to go, you can't speak the language. They just feel lost. And in this place, we try to give them hope, to put that hope back. Unfortunately, my son, he, the one that was sick, he passed away in 1992, August 11. One of these days is going to be his anniversary. And it was so difficult for me. And I like to work with a group that they have a tough life. That, that I like to challenge and I like working with them because I understand their feeling, especially those families that they have a child with disability. I love working with them. I never get too tired. One of the things we've seen over the last few years with immigrants and refugees, but particularly people who arrive as refugees, is the housing is critical. Uh, it's critical that they have safe, affordable housing in an area of the city that they don't have to travel for miles on many buses to get services. There are people who need more support for a time before they're able to be independent and, and more confident to access what they need. So we're excited to have these transitional units in our reception house. The Rotary Centre for New Canadians is such an exciting partnership. They bring all sorts of energy and ideas and resources and combine that with our expertise, our knowledge and expertise, to better serve the newcomers. I think what the Rotary Centre for New Canadians does is bring things together. So some of these services and programs did exist before, but to have them all at one site, easily accessible, will make a big difference for people. It's allowing new possibilities of partnership, and that's very exciting.
The clientele is mainly uh, refugee youth and mostly these are youth coming from okay. war-torn countries basically or countries that are experiencing turmoil. Uh, you don't have any social supports, you don't have any family. You're on your own basically with the group of youth that you came with from a refugee camp. The project began three years ago uh, and uh, what we're looking at is how to fully integrate uh, refugee youth into Canadian society. So what we try to do basically is uh, teach them life skills, helping them with their English as a second language, but also as well uh, get them working on their education and career goals, kind of move them forward in terms of their own personal development and growth. Basically, you can come here and get help for like any school subjects, but you can also come here and hang out, just talk to a few people, get to know other people. Actually, like the good thing I was knowing like some kind of English, so that's how it was so hard, but I found some friends, I used to talk to them, something kind of that, that's the way I found my friends. It makes me feel really good because I get to help people and I get to help myself by improving my language and meeting other people and getting to know other people too. After our project, their the self-esteem and their sense of uh, belonging has changed. They feel that they know what they want to do, whereas before, you couldn't, they couldn't even think that far in the future. I will be going to college to become a legal assistant, but I would like to become a lawyer someday. When I, yeah, when I grow up, I want to be a doctor or, or, or bishop. An architect. We get them to do projects as well, and we get them to do presentations. These are kids who are very, very shy. It just warms your heart to see them coming out of their shell, in a sense. I think CSS has been a leader. They have played a tremendous role, and not only for the youth, but also to, to develop innovative ways to reach communities. Meeting someone two years from now and them running towards me and saying thank you for everything that you did for me and so it's that joy when they come back two three years sometimes they just drop by and say just to say thank you and they come back and say how can I help 